Welcome again guys to WrestleMania PH channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and click the notification bell for latest news, issues and amazing videos. Let's get it on guys. Army Commanding General Lt. Gen. Romeo S. Brauner Jr., led the reactivation ceremony of the 1st Tank Battalion and the deactivation of the 8th Cavalry Company at the Armor Division's headquarters at Camp O'Donnell, Capas, Tarlock 2022. Lt. Col. Don G. Frivaldo assumed as the Provisional Battalion's acting commander during the reactivation ceremony highlighted by the unfurling of the battalion's color. Personnel of the deactivated 8th Cavalry Company, which provided cavalry support to the 103rd Infantry Brigade, 1st Infantry Division whose area of operations cover La Nau del Sur and parts of La Nau del Norte, will form the nucleus of the reactivated tank battalion. It can be recalled that the said company played a vital role in the military's victory against ISIS-inspired terrorists that attacked Marawi City in 2017. The tank battalion traces its roots to the organization of the 1st Cavalry Regiment under the Philippine Army's 1st Infantry Division in 1935. The Philippine Army officially activated its 1st Tank Battalion in September 1958 with assets which included M4 U.S. Sherman tanks. The original tank battalion was deactivated three years later due to the high cost of tank maintenance. The battalion, which is foreseen to play a key role in the defense of the country's land domain, will be composed of newly acquired and upcoming assets such as 18 Sabre Ascot light tanks, 10 Pander 8x8 wheeled light tanks, a command vehicle, a recovery vehicle, and a tank gunnery simulator acquired under the AFP revised modernization programs Horizon 2. Looking at the future operational landscape, the Philippine Army has reactivated the 1st Tank Battalion to provide our infantry and mechanized infantry forces with advanced firepower capability and enhance the standards of protection, especially in conducting contingency missions and combined arms and joint operations in the country, Lt. Gen. Brauner said. The Army Chief added that the Tank Battalion's reactivation will bolster the armor unit's operational capability in conducting ground operations against current and emerging threats, 